Hello everyone, I am Carla, and today I am going to show you how to build a super simple snake game in less than 50 lines of Python. And you're going to be able to play it right in your terminal to make it super simple. I'm going to be typing pretty fast, so I've left all of the code in a GitHub repository in the description, as well as a Medium post with a little bit of a longer tutorial. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your favorite text editor. And I made a simple file, just called it snake.python. And the first thing we're going to want to do now is import our curses library and import the keys for the game. If you don't already have the curses library, you need to run a pip install uh, windows curses. And that is also in the instructions in the medium post. And we're also going to import uh, the random integer. So now let's initiate the screen and set a new window and give it a size of 30 by 60. Let's set the keypad to true. and we don't want to have a delay. We're going to set the defaults. So we're gonna set key right so that the snake is going to the right when we first start the game and set the score to zero. And we're going to give the snake an initial position of these three coordinates because the snake is going to have three pieces of body to start off. And we're going to set the initial location of the food to 1025. And now we are going to display the food All right, while the escape key has not been pressed, we want to set a border around our terminal window and we are going to display the score. And I am aware that I misspelled that and I fixed that at the end. We're also going to give the window a title name of snake because we are really excited to play snake. And we are going to make the snake faster every time it eats new food. And we are going to get the key press event. And now we are going to move the snake as a key has been pressed. Now let's set the conditions for losing the game. So if the snake hits a wall or it runs over itself, we want to end the game and display the score. Next, let's take care of what to do when the snake eats the food. So we're going to increase the score and now assign the location for the next item of food. And now we're going to display it. Next, we want to make it appear as if the snake is moving if it has not eaten food. And now we're going to add another pound sign to the end of the snake. Okay. Now, if the while loop has been broken, we want to end the game, close the window and print the score. All right, let me fix that typo really quick. And it looks like I accidentally put the, uh, the end game within the while loop. So let me remove that. All right, let's give it a play. So I'm just going to run Python snake pie. And wow. 
super simple, super fun, less than 50 lines of code. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the code is in a GitHub repository in the description, as well as a link to a more in-depth tutorial and with more explanations over what each line does. If you like tutorials and bad tech jokes, follow me on Twitter at Carla Not a Robot. And I hope you found this enjoyable, informative, or anything else. Thanks for watching.